Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. We're talking chiropractic misconceptions with our friend, Dr. Sean Twitt from... I'm sorry, excuse me as well. We're talking, of course, all in, in regards to chiropractic work. And e, thank you for coming. Thank Corners, you for having me. Cornerstone Chiropractic Wellness. How are you, my friend? Now, first of all, before we get into this, let's talk about this best-selling number one book. Yeah, so I was contacted by Rutherford Publishing, and the, uh, the publishing company um, has a book for divorce attorneys, dentists, chiropractors, and so this happened to be uh, the topic uh, was chiropractic, and I was chosen out of the 65,000 chiropractors in the United States. Yep. And there's 10 co-authors, and we each contributed uh, one, one chapter for the book, and within a week it went number one on Amazon. So it was pretty What is it all about? It's 10 different doctors talking about their philosophical approach to chiropractic and healthcare. Okay. And all the proceeds goes to the uh, Kiwanis International and all the different children's programs around the world. So okay. none of us doctors get a, a single penny for the book. The, the book was designed to simply educate the public and get the information out there about the non-drug approach to health. Got you. All right, Sean, you have bought in a skeleton. This is the human spine. The yeah. human spine. Okay, if I don't have any pain, do I still need to go to the chiropractor? Yes, you should. And because wh why? Okay, because pain is typically the last thing to show up. It's the first thing to leave. Pain tells you something's wrong. It doesn't say what is wrong. It's like the check engine light that goes off on the dash of your car, right? Yes. When the check engine light goes off, it could be the fuel filter. It could be the engine ready to blow. You don't know. It just says check engine. Only 10% of the nerves in the body are pain sensitive. So a person could have scoliosis and not have pain. A person could have cancer and not have pain. People could have compression fractures. They could have nerve pressure and not have any symptoms whatsoever. Okay. So when should we start adjusting? Is there an age? Is there something when we shouldn't be adjusting? Well, I was adjusted the day I was born. My father was a chiropractor. No. I'm a second generation chiropractor, yes. And my youngest patient since I've been in practice, uh, almost 14 years now, is uh, 37 hours old. And one of the most traumatic uh, experiences we all go through is, of course, the birth process. Okay. So everyone's spine should be checked. Just like your teeth should be checked if you go to the dentist. So soon, though? Does Absolutely. That, so I just want to explain. I want you to explain that at home because people would already be alarmed, thinking that is the case. How do you manipulate such a, a very little delicately a little baby and very very carefully, very specifically? Uh, I want to adjust a six-month-old the way I adjust you, of course. Yeah. Uh, so I would use uh, my fingertips, and it's very safe and very effective. Wow. Yes. Absolutely amazing. All right, so why should people be going to the chiropractor? I said to you when I first met you that a, a friend of mine said she was in so much pain, and then I said, have you been to the chiropractor? She went, no. She went, two visits, she was amazing. Why should we be going? Well, because uh, Hippocrates said the, the power of uh, the human immune system is controlled by the central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord. And he said, look well to the spine for the cause of disease. The spine houses and protects your central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord, and it controls everything. It controls every function of all 100 plus trillion cells in the body. Yep. And so you should, you should take care of the one thing that controls the function of your entire body. Okay. Well, people often say when you go into the chiropractor that it can hurt. It feels great. True or false? False. Why do people have that misconception? Because perception is reality. Okay. Okay. So, if I start going to the chiropractor, sh is it something that you do monthly, weekly, yearly? What, what, talk to me about that because I know how often I go. I love it. Okay. But... Talk to everyone at home about those reasons and how often. Well, um, I, tell P I answer that question often with a question. That is, uh, do you brush your teeth only when your teeth hurt? Oh, I got you. So do you do an oil change uh, once every couple of years or once every 3,000 miles in three months? And so it's, it's, it's maintenance, it's wellness. So when I get people out of pain and their body starts functioning the way it's supposed to, I recommend the average person come in about once a month just to maintain your own vehicle. I got you. Yeah. So, and most insurance coverage also covers insurance, but one thing about you guys is you don't need to worry about insurance with you. I keep the rates extremely affordable, so we even if you it. don't have insurance, I can still see you. Well, that's what we love. We appreciate you coming in as well, Dr. Sean Twitt. There's all the information up there. Cornerstone Chiropractic Wellness, Facebook, email address, and phone number. We appreciate you coming in as well, buddy. Up next, we'll take a look at the top performing films at the box office, plus a Pixar favourite gets a release date for its newest instalment. Details to follow in today's What's Poppin'.